Hi there, as usually it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching Review Machines and today we are visiting an awesome show which is called Offroader 2022. This event unites numerous engineers and manufacturers and they represent here their new projects, exciting machines and gears, new ideas and so on. This time the exhibition is really large scale. Today we are going to tell you about the most interesting all-terrain vehicles presented on this show. Well, it's going to be an exciting pastime, so make some tea and get comfortable, my friends. We are to start right now. We begin with all new Sharp ATVs. These machines are well known throughout the world. This time Sharp Company exhibited all their machines from old models to the most recent projects. Now you see the very first serial produced Sharp. It has gone through many adventures, but it's still alive. Then we see Sharp Pro. Next to it there is Sharp Max. And finally we see all new model which is called Sharp N. Let's look at it closer. According to the manufacturer, only the name Sharp was taken from previous models. All the other construction is absolutely new. Well, it even looks differently, doesn't it? New exterior, headlamps and lights, large windows. Let's look at some details. Firstly, we see here much bigger wheels. Now their diameter is 1800 mm. Then the ATV is equipped with new engine. It's three cylinders, 55 HP diesel Dusan, which has all necessary eco standards. The transmission is also new, now the chains almost don't need any maintenance. The interior is also absolutely fresh, it can be modified according to the customer's requirements. I should say, new Sharp is a really impressive machine. Now on your screens all new ATV, which is called Medved Pro. The main feature of the vehicle is an articulated frame. There are two sections of it joined by the high durable gear. Looking at this machine, I should mention decent build quality and smart design. The ATV is equipped with V-type two-cylinders engine 29 HP. It works together with a mechanical gearbox from a car. The front and rear axles are also taken from a car. An important feature. There is a hydraulic power steering system that makes the handling of the machine much more comfortable. There is another thing for comfort. The driver's seat has its own suspension, like on the big trucks. The dashboard is simple and well made. Medved Pro is an amphibious vehicle. It can float due to the big wheels, 1300 mm. Its maximum speed on water is 4 km per hour and 40 km per hour on the ground. The carrying capacity is 650 kilos. The weight of the vehicle is 750 kilos. An interesting and well made vehicle. Let's move on. The ATV, which is called Little, it's a proper name for this machine, as it's one of the most compact zero produced ATVs. There is an articulated frame with two sections. Despite it's so little, we have here a real series of roader. The perfect off roading ability is provided by all wheel drive with diff locks and big low pressure wheels with more than a meter diameter. This machine can easily float with a cargo up to 130 kilos. The carrying capacity on the ground is 385 kilos. The vehicle is equipped with 170cc 12hp engine, working together with CVT. The maximum speed is 40 km per hour. The engine is mounted under the driver's seat that provides a perfect weight distribution. By the way, the vehicle can be equipped with more powerful engine, according to the customer requirements. Besides, it's possible to install a tent here to protect a driver from a bad weather. Han ATV Company presented two all new vehicles at this show. There are diesel and electric versions. We are going to make full review both of them, but now let's have just a brief look at the most interesting electric ATV. First of all, I'd like to mention new fresh exterior. It looks pretty cool to my mind. It has an articulated frame with a hydraulic steering. The vehicle is equipped with an electric motor 110 HP and 250 Nm torque. The battery has a capacity 24 kWh, but it can be upgraded up to 60 kWh. Besides, there is a generator 8 kW power that would be useful if you are going to travel at long distances. 
the transmission doesn't contain any chains. Such a solution provides better reliability of the whole vehicle. Though I'm straining at the leash to make a full review of it, guys. One of the track ATVs presented at the show, it's called Pioneer. As we can see, it isn't new. Obviously, it had seen some tough off-roading. The vehicle has a classic design. The tracks are made of a transportation rubber belt with metal grousers. The width of the track is 470 mm. It's well-known and effective solution. One of the important features of the construction, the tracks are equipped with a suspension system. The vehicle is equipped with 1600cc engine, 82 HP, taken from a car with 4 inch mechanical gearbox. As many other tracked vehicles, it's not so fast. The maximum speed is only 25 km per hour. The weight of the machine is 900 kg. Current capacity is 500. There are 5 seats for passengers plus a driver. The ATV is able to float. And it can be equipped with a boat motor to move faster on water. This ATV is called Ksusha. Quite a peculiar name for an ATV. In fact, this project is based on a regular 4x4 car. The body, the engine and some part of the frame were taken from the car. The interior is also the same, it looks appropriate. One of the most complicated parts of the construction are the special wheel reducers, specially made for the project. They are used here to provide better torque to operate with big low pressure wheels. The diameter of the wheels is 1200 mm, the width is 600 mm. There is a hydraulic power steering. Then there is a central system of tire inflation and pneumatic differential locks. In this way, the vehicle is equipped with the most effective features to beat any off-roading. I hope to see it in action soon. Probably one of the most attractive ATVs exhibited at this show. Undoubtedly, it has an amazing look. And it's called Boar Hawk. As a matter of fact, it's just a huge ATV quad. Recently, we have made a video about similar machine, which is called Falcon. You might see it on the channel. To realize the actual size of the vehicle, you can compare it now with me and my 189cm height. Looking closer at the machine, I should mention decent build quality. All the elements are well made and look properly. The frame is made of steel tubes, the body parts of a special plastic, there is an engine 100 HP, it's Honda engine, 1300cc, working together with automatic transmission. It drives two axles with diff locks. The wheels are 1250mm diameter and 600mm width with hydraulic steering. Besides, there is an advanced suspension system. Well, amazing machine. And we are moving on. This ATV is called Kekur. Actually, the vehicle is made from scratch. It's based on the frame, made specially for the project. The body installed on the frame is made of aluminum. One of the most significant features of this ATV, unlike many other, it has a regular simple design. In fact, it looks as an usual 4x4 vehicle, just much bigger. There are two seats at the front, and the steering system absolutely like on a regular car. The rear compartment is quite spacious. There is enough room to stay overnight. The vehicle is equipped with Toyota diesel engine and automatic transmission. The axles were taken from Nissan Safari. Huge low pressure wheels with hydraulic power steering. Well, as to me, I am looking forward to compare this ATV with some with articulated frame to find out finally which design is more efficient. And this ATV is called Tracker. It's a classic skid steering machine with quite pleasant design to my mind. We hardly will find some innovations in the construction, but the main features of the project are the maximum reliability and relatively low price. There are huge wheels, 1650 mm diameter, with central system of tire inflation, powered by exhaust system. The ATV is equipped with well-known Kubota engine, working with a mechanical gearbox. It has quite large set of options included into standard price. 
The trim lever is decent, there are powerful lights and headlamps, and there is a comfortable front door. I think it's a decent machine for quite an appropriate price. Oh well, my friends, I think we've covered all the HVs for today, but some of them you will see soon in action in the following videos on our channel. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching, please consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here, goodbye.